We play and call it work. Hey there, Wargamers. Luca from Mini Wargaming to show off some work we just got in from Aaron Allen at Rubicon Painting Services. These are a collection of 40K and Age of Sigmar models we had gathering dust downstairs in the basement that he was more than happy to take off our hands and do a wonderful job sending them back to us. Rubicon Painting Studios offers several different levels of painting standards. Today what you're looking at is Tabletop Plus. That's what we asked for and I am amazed. This is an amazing job by them. I couldn't be happier with the work. Would like to mention that Rubicon Painting Studios is based out of Northern Ireland when ordering from them. Also, any contact information that you would need is going to be in the description below as well as if you order anything from him, if you mention Mini Wargaming, if you've come from this video, he will offer a 10% discount on any commission. Let's take a closer look at the models here and the work that he's done for us, shall we? Very clean and crisp brush strokes. You know, nothing popping up from underneath. What you see is what you get. A lot of excellent highlighting when it comes to the evocators. The armor really pops and very clean edge highlighting on the robes. Interesting shading technique on the orcs when you take a closer look at them. If you notice, it's got a very cartoon-esque style to it, at least to me. Instead of using a shade to highlight inside of the muscles, it looks like it was paint highlights inside of, or painted shade inside of the muscles or simply very clean painting over top of a black primer to really show the musculature of the uh, very silly orcs of the 41st millennium. A very similar technique, taking a look at the Arcanauts, very cartoony look, especially when it comes to the pink pants. I'm, I'll be honest, I'm a huge fan of the pink pants uh, with the metallic armor over, you, you don't see that often, it's usually blue, usually green. We got, we got hot pink. They look like they're wearing baby onesies underneath their armor, which they might as well be, come on, let's be realistic, it's Arcanaut Company, they have a 5-up armor save. And it shouldn't be a problem to notice the finer details of the models either. Looking at the iconography on the Arcanaut Company, all their shoulders are painted, the symbolism is colored in black so it stands out, and taking a look at the orcs as well, all their clan iconography is painted, highlighted, different tones. A lot of attention to detail here, folks. This is a well-represented tabletop plus, and I would say even a little above that. This is a really well-done job. Taking a look at the Chosen of Corn model, you can see a blending technique on the weapons, that smeared dry blood look. The bases have different techniques about the models, but it's a similar technique in the end. It's a, a sand or astro granite kind of base with a highlight over top of it, and a grass flock put on top of that, which to me, adds up to the perfect base, right? It's not too much, it doesn't take away from the model, and it makes it look really good on the table. Gonna wrap it up there, folks. I just wanna say again, I'm very impressed with this work. It's a unique style I haven't seen before, especially when it comes to that cartoony look and the, the paint shading instead of the normal shading. But I wish you all happy wargaming. I'm gonna leave you with some close-up shots so you can further appreciate this work done by Rubicon Painting Studios.